Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So it's been a while, but today I'm at the Gacha Gacha store in Harajuku. I think it's my third time here, but I love this place. All you have to do is walk straight across Harajuku Station, go straight, and it's on the second floor. But look at this Gacha Gacha! Oh my gosh! Oh, by the way, these machines are called gacha. There's so many different names like gacha phone, gacha, gacha, but they're most known as gacha. Anyways, ta-da! Here I have a lot of coins. Here I have around a hundred dollars. Each machine costs around like two to five dollars. Some cost even more. Today, I'm going to use a hundred dollars on these gacha machines. You guys know Japan, there's gonna be a lot of cute ones and some weird ones. There's a lot to do today, so let's get started. $100 Gotcha Machine Challenge. Let's go! This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to build your own website, Squarespace is the place for you. You can sell your own products, make your own portfolio, and more. I'll tell you guys more about it later. Okay, here to start. Okay, let's start from the entrance. Look at all these gacha machines! Oh my gosh! So this is the entrance. And as you can see, there's so many gacha machines, but I'm gonna start from here. And here, we have some Disney stuff. My favorite. So I come here every few months, but they're always different. So here they have some tiara. Aww, that's so cute. Okay, so this is $3 or 300 yen. And here's my first one. Okay, you know what guys? As always, I need a bag. So let's look for a bag. I think I saw one here. Guys, guys, look at this. There's so many bags. And they're all so cute. I can't choose. So over here, we have a Kirby bag, Pokemon bag, and more. Let's go with Pokemon. And twist. What do we have here? I think it's a small pouch. Okay, one more time. Oh, it's the same exact one. I'm so sad. Okay, change of plans. Let's go with Kirby. Ta da! I'm going to open the rest at home, but I'm going to open this because I want to use the bag. Oh, look at this bag! It's so cute! I love it! My friend loves him. I'm going to put the capsules inside. And by the way, about this capsule, if you come over here, there's a recycle box. Okay, let's move on. Okay, pause. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So, have you guys ever wanted to build your own website? For example, have you ever wanted to like start a small business? Or like make a page for your art portfolios? Because I highly recommend Squarespace. If you guys know me, I've been doing a lot of art. So I've been looking for a place to put all my artworks together. Like, you know, like a portfolio. And I've also been trying to start a small business online, but it's so complicated. Like, I don't know how to build a website. I don't know how to like type in the codes and make the website look really pretty and stuff. It's so hard. Building a website from scratch is so hard. Like I thought I needed like hire someone for it. But it turns out Squarespace is all you need. It's so easy. Squarespace has a lot of templates so you don't need to know coding or anything. Like look at all these templates. You can make a website with just a few clicks. You can choose your favorite template and boom. Like this is so pretty. With this, you can build your own small business, a place to connect all your social media accounts, art portfolios, and more. Please check out squarespace.com for a free trial from the link in the description box below. You can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So guys, don't forget to check it out. Anyways, let's go back to the video. Okay, back to the Disney section. I wanna try this. It's like a cute pouch. Three, four. Okay. Over here, you have some Sanrio stuff. Aww, so cute. Never seen this one before. Here's one. Let me try this. Another Sanrio. And 
here we have some Pokemon. Oh, look at this! That's a ring! It's a Pokeball! That is so adorable and so smart. Maybe this. Ooh, this one's only $2. What else did they have? Look! It's a watch! It's a minion watch! And it's only $3. I literally don't know what I got, but I'm not going to open it until I get back home. Ooh, Missy! Why is everything so cute? Some Kokurashi stuff and some Doraemon stuff. Ooh, I kind of want this. That's $3. Look at the capsule! Adorable! This is fun. This. And maybe this one too. <laughs> this is so weird. Like, look at this. It's like this arcade button. This actually went viral in Japan. It's a ring inside rice balls. Let me show you guys. <laughs> By the way, I'm only walking around the entrance. There's a lot more. There's just so many, it's so hard to choose. The blue ham ham, so cute. A lot of characters. Any Snoopy lovers? Guys, look, there's BT21. I love BT21. You're so cute. One of this, and oh, there's more. Even cuter. Three. Two. And more. Wow, this is like the weird <laughs> section. <laughs> Look at all these like miniature foods. And they're all like really high quality. I'm amazed. I'm feeling more like anime today. I want like a lot of anime stuff. Which should be around in this section. <gasps> this should... Oh, interesting. Maybe one of this. Harry Potter! I need to do this. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's $8. It's like the premium section. See? The premium gossip phone. <laughs> the $8 gotcha. I really want to open it right now. But let's wait until back home. This side is all Kimetsu no Yaiba, which I love. Let's try this one. Two, three, four. Ta -da. And I want to try this one too. Three, four. Okay. I only have like $20 left. <laughs> only have this much left. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Look. There's Boku no Hero, Tokyo Revengers, Tokyo Revengers, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen, Tokyo Revengers, and Jojo. <laughs> one Piece. Oh my gosh, One Piece. Guys, guys. They have Inuyasha. It's like my childhood hero. I have to get this one. One of this. Ooh, they even have Rama. Oh my gosh, Rama is so old school, but like the best manga ever. I love how they have like old school stuff. This. Look, look, look. SAO. Maybe one of this. I kind of want to do another one. Okay, let's move on. And there's more over here. Ooh, it's like the pet corner. Look at all the kitties. So this is like the cutesy anime section. I've got to do this one because I love Doremi-chan. Ojamajo Doremi. Another old school but a great anime. This. Sailor Moon. Three dollars. Oh, They could like hug each other. That's so adorable. 
this. Oh, look at this. Look at this accessory thing. I need this. Two, three, four, five. It's quite big. <laughs> Guys! Oh my gosh. I only have three dollars. Three more coins left. And I'm not even done walking around. Okay, let's walk around first. This is like the weird section, kind of weird. Look, they even have miniature rock climbing stuff. Um, if you guys are interested, there's some Buddha stuff. <laughs> so here's like frogs and turtles. There's literally something for everyone. And some like insects and stuff, which is honestly not my favorite. They're all high quality and really, really nice. A bodysuit for like miniature dolls. Weird. <gasps> this is kind of fun. I think it's like a miniature pouch, but it's like perfect for people who like to make art. So, this is gonna be my last one. And done. Ta -da! Okay, because I couldn't show you the whole place, there's a few more things that I want to show you up close. For example, look, this is a miniature washing machine. You can actually open it and turn the thing inside. It actually works. So here's a lot of miniature stuff. <gasps> it's a drill, but it actually works. That's like a fun project. Miniature basketball. A miniature shooting game. I wonder if it works. Sometimes it does. Here's like some miniature chairs for your dolls. And I didn't get any of these pet stuff, but they're so cute. Here's like a pet salon. Some cute hamsters. Some birds. Some hero shows for little boys. Do you guys know any of these characters? Because I'm really not too sure of them. But they're all like super popular. And there's a lot of anime characters. Hi Q! Hunter Hunter, Dragon Ball. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted to do more here. Like, there's BTS! But this is the premium gotcha section. And this one costs $6. This one costs $20! Really? It's a lizard. Interesting. A $15 gotcha, another $15 gotcha, and more. And guys, I think that's it. Hopefully, I can come back real soon to do more. And we are done with the $100 challenge. There's so many capsules. They're so different from last time. I've never opened any of these. I'm so excited. Let's go back home. And I'm back home. So inside here, we have $100 worth of gotcha. Let's see what I got. It's actually have been like a week or two since I went there, so I kind of forgot what I got. The reveal. Okay. So where to start from? I don't remember what I got first, so I'm just going to open them randomly. Let's start with this one. Let's get started. So first we have a Disney princess. Ariel, it's so cute. And this is basically like a small... What is this? So it's like a pouch, I think? Ooh, it might be a tissue case. Okay, yeah. So I think this is for like tissues or wet towels. And you can like hang it up. I think it's perfect for your car. And the design is so cute. Look at flounder. <laughs> okay, let's keep on going because we have a lot. Next. We've got... <gasps> Harry Potter! Oh wait! I think this is the one that cost me $8. Oh guys, look at my shirt. <laughs> While I love Hermione, I'm so happy with Harry. So this one cost me $8. So let's see how it's different from the other ones. Gotcha machines are usually around like $2 to $5. Here's the head, Nimbus 2000. And there we have it. I have to say it's quite heavy. Like, it's really sturdy. Oh, I love the glasses. I love the eyes. It is like really, really high quality compared to the other ones. He also has Nimbus 2000, which I think is so adorable. I kind of want the other characters, but we'll see. Next, this is a really weird case. Here we've got... Oh, it's a magnet. Oh, it's Sanrio. <laughs> so it's like in the shape of a disc and it's a magnet. That's cute. I'm gonna put this on my fridge. 
Next, what do we have here? Ta -da! Oh wait, ah! <laughs> I see. So it's a ring. My engagement ring. <laughs> so it's like a candy ring and it comes with a small bag. I mean, I'm not gonna use it as a ring, but I do want to like DIY something with it. Moving on. Here we've got... Oh! So this is like one of those weird Japanese stuff. I guess I could like attach this somewhere and prank someone. You actually can't really use it, but I mean, it looks real. Next, we've got another Disney gotcha. Ta-da! Oh yeah, it's a tiara! You need to build it yourself. Oh, it's Snow White! Okay, let me build this up. So that took me about like 3 minutes, 5 minutes, and you could actually put this on your head. <laughs> this doll? Oh, this is actually really cute. I think it's perfect for my dolls. It also came with rhinestones, which I think is definitely a plus. Next. Ta-da! Ooh, another Sanrio! And I got my Melody again. And it's a pop-up ring for your phone. Oh, this one's really, really cute. I love the design. I'm definitely going to use this. Okay, I need to keep on going because I'm not even halfway there. Next, Pokemon! It's a Pikachu ring! Oh, there's something on his forehead. And it's not coming off. But I mean, oh, look at this. You could put this on your hand. You could put this on your pen. So something like this. Oh, that's too cute. Oh, I kind of want to use it for some kind of DIY. Let's see. Next. Ta-da! Oh, it's a Minion watch! And it's Bob! I mean, this is supposed to be like a gotcha toy for like $3. Why is everything so cute? And if you open it and pull this thing off, it starts working as like a real watch. You could change the time using the buttons over here, so it actually works as a real watch, which I think is so cool. I also love the strap. Here we've got a really weird capsule. Ooh, I love the colors, but I mean, what's inside counts the most. Oh, it's a katana. <laughs> It's a Demon Slayer katana. I have a problem. It doesn't fit. I don't know if it's like made poorly or I'm doing this wrong, but it just doesn't fit. It would have been so cute though. So it would have looked something like this. That's fun. But again, it doesn't fit. So um, I think it's kind of a fail, but it also might just be me. Hmm. Anyways, let's move on. Next, we've got... Oh! <laughs> I actually got this away from the camera. So I got this after my challenge. But I mean, it's so cute! So these are all like really small squishable animals. Squishy's my thing. I had to get it. I also think it's perfect for like DIYs. Oh, look at that squish. <laughs> so fun. Next, here we've got a pretty big capsule. Ooh, it's Sakura-chan! Wow, it's packed. It's this accessory stand. So many parts. This goes right here, here. And it looks something like this. It would be so cute with all these dresses. And you can like hang your accessories like so. For like $3, I think it's really fun. Moving on. Oh, Chimmy! Oh, I love Chimmy! So cute! It's like a keychain, but again, if you know me, I'm probably going to use this for some kind of DIY. I love it! And we still have like 15 more to go. Oh, it's Ojama Jo Doremi! It's a masking tape! Oh, there were like figurines and other prizes, but I mean, I love washi tape. So cute. I could never have enough washi tape. Here's a small one. Oh, it's so tiny. And it is. It's a llama pouch! I love these two! And it's a pouch. I mean, it's not the highest quality pouch ever, but I love Rama. I read every single book when I was like five. Rama is how I learned Japanese. Very special. Here we've got another small one. <gasps> it's Sailor Moon! 
and you can put this onto a cord. It's so small. Let's think of a DIY for him. And next we've got Doraemon. I love this capsule. I can't recycle this one. Oh, I get it. So the capsule's part of the toy. No wonder why it's so well made. And here we've got a figurine. And it's like quite big. I mean, for like $2, I would say it's pretty high quality. Any Doraemon lovers? And next, here we've got another pouch, and it's a Pokemon pouch. I think it's perfect for like small items, maybe like candies, lipstick, and it's actually pretty good quality compared to the other ones. Do we have another pouch here? Oh, oh yes, I do remember. <laughs> That's cute. And this is like a pencil case, I guess, for artists. So it's in the shape of an acrylic paint tube. This is a pretty big one. It's a bath bomb set. So all you have to do is mix these two and add a little bit of water and use this mold to make it into a small bath bomb. It's a really interesting set. The only thing is that I should have gotten more of these. And I think it would have been prettier with like different colors. You could have like mixed the colors, blended in. One solid color is honestly not as fun. But I do love making bath bombs, so I may use these in the future. I'll definitely keep it in my box. Here we've got a really cute capsule, and it's a Pokeball! Guys, would you marry me? That is so adorable! It's another Pikachu ring. There's all these characters, and why do I keep on getting Pikachu? <laughs> Two Pikachus today. Ooh, I would have loved Mew. I should keep my engagement ring inside this. I'm definitely going to keep this. And another ring. I know this because it became really popular in Japan. So it looks like a rice ball, but when you open it, there's a ring inside. So yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys. These are stuff that becomes really popular in Japan. Why Japan? But I mean, it's really interesting. Another small one. Here we've got... Ooh, SAO! Sword Art Online. Who loves that anime? I do. Or my fiancé does. My fiancé loves SAO. So I basically got this for him. Yay, Kirito! Oh, so tiny! Look at the size difference! It's so tiny! But I mean, this was like $3 and this was like $8. Look at the small details, not bad. It's Pac-Man! As you can see, it doesn't really work, but it's like a great display. So this goes right here, Pac-Man. The other side. And here's a mini arcade game, Pac-Man. Look at how small it is. And we have five more to go. I'm going to leave the big one for last. And let's go with this small one. Oh, <gasps> Inok! <laughs> it's Inuyasha! If you guys don't know, Inuyasha is like my life. And by the way, it's written by the same author of Rama. So Rama and Inuyasha, both my life. I just love the author so much. I'm gonna put him inside here just to make it extra safe. Next, ooh, another BP21. Aww, cookie. You can't tell me this is not cute. Really good quality. I think I'm going to DIY this for like a phone case or like a phone grip. We'll see. Ooh, three more to go. <laughs> and here's an Inosuke head. Again from Demon Slayer. Oh, it's like an actual mask. Hmm, who to put this on? Kind of too big for Harry. I mean, it's still kind of cute. <laughs> too small, but I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> and next, ooh, it's a very interesting shape. Never seen anything like this before. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's a Snoopy hair clip. Kind of unfortunate that I got the ha ha ha. I mean, I would have been happier with like the characters more. I mean, the Snoopy one would have been so cute. I need to try this again. Last but not least, here we've got... Oh wait, what? Okay, um, here I've got another same Pokemon pouch. The same exact design. Since I already have one, I feel like I could do anything that I want to this one. Maybe I could like cut out the characters, make it into something else. If you guys know me, I love DIYs, so I would definitely come up with something. So don't worry. And guys, this is what I got from my $100 challenge. Let me fix this. 
some was like really random, some super cute, and again, it was really really fun unboxing all of these. And guys, don't worry, I always say this, but I will recycle all the capsules, I will give away stuff that I don't need, and the rest, I'm gonna use it in the future, DIY stuff, make stuff, so none of this is going to the garbage. Anyways, today was another really fun day, and I hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!